Hi Capricorn, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle reading for the month of June 2018. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. And if you'd like clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions, I can give that to you in a private reading. So I welcome you to go up there and press that button and it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to schedule either a private reading with me or a Reiki session. So Capricorn, let's get on with the month of June and your reading for that beautiful month of June. The first week of June, at the very beginning of that week, you have been given the Eight of Fire. And Fire cards have to do with self-development. Often we, you know, we take those leaps of faith uh, that we've been afraid to take. And we, we take risks we normally wouldn't take and go places we normally wouldn't go, but all for our personal self-development. This is showing me that there's some events coming in very, very quickly. And you, it's almost like your head's getting filled with all this information because everything's coming in at a very fast pace. Um, you've been waiting for it. You've been waiting for this information to come in. You've been waiting for this event to come in. You've been waiting for this action to take place. And now the delays are over. It's arriving now and there's going to be many things happening all at once. For some of you, I do see that there is a celebratory, uh, a celebration event coming in, in the form of a wedding or a large party. They're showing me, uh, they just told me, my guides, there's going to be a family reunion coming in for some of you. And they showed me the destination somewhere over in Europe for some of you. Now, I do see that um, there is someone who is, uh, being celebrated as well and this person is like the matriarch of the family and she may be an elderly grandmother figure that you are celebrating. Um, it will be maybe a celebration of life. For some of you this woman may have passed on to the spirit world and for others it may be her birthday or a turning point. She's turning a hundred. Uh, something like that. For some of you I do see you will be honoring this woman and for others I see it maybe in the form, like I say, a birthday, uh, a, a, a wedding, a, a birth of a baby, a graduation or something. But I do see there's going to be an awful lot of, you know, fluttering going on around the planning of this uh, event and this situation. So things are going to be coming in all at once for, for you. In the middle of the first week, Capricorn, you've been given the Ten of Water. And this is for the middle of the week of first week of June. And water cards, you have four of them here, and you also have uh, three uh, fire cards, self development cards. So there, there's things going on around you that will be involving people uh, around you. So I do see that some of you are going to be enjoying your family life. You're going to be doing things with your family, uh, happy things, things that that are uh, that make you bring joy to you and make you laugh and have fun. I do see that some of you are in a better place in your home life, in your family life. Emotionally, things are settling down. I see that some of you, your relationships are improving and will be getting better. For some of you, I see money will be uh, available and your, you know, your commitments, your debt commitments, your bills and so on uh, will be met. So I do see that you will have the money to do that as well. Those of you that are in relationships and you've been worried, are they trustworthy? Please know Capricorn, yes, they, this is a trustworthy relationship uh, that you, uh, some of you are in. I do see some of you have felt that you've been, um, there's two other people in your life that are um, determining uh, where you're going with this relationship. And I do see them as almost like twins. They could be, uh, young women, they could be uh, young children, um, but your life has been circulating around them. But now I see you surfacing to get a breath of fresh air and you're now going to be able to move on and be happy and enjoy your family life right now and this relationship. If, if it's been these other two individuals holding you back uh, with where you were going in this relationship, you're going to see the light and do this and step up for yourself. You've been given a beautiful card, Capricorn, for the end of the first week, and this is your oracle card called Artistic Expressions. 
And this is all about, you know, some of you, it may be you have the innate talent with music or the arts and acting. It may be actual artistic talents, taking the paintbrush to your hand, writing, okay? Whatever way you can be creative. It could be with the way you're dealing with a situation. You're going to be able to be creative in that. But this is a message from the divine sources that be and your, and your guides and the universe that you need to start uh, putting your artistic expression into your life again. Some of you may have been doing this when you were younger or a few years ago and you've had to shelf it and you've not had the time or the resources to do that. Now it says you need to do this. You need to incorporate your artistic expression into your life again. Capricorn, you've been given the Ten of Fire for the beginning of the second week of June. And this is showing me that there's so much going on again, just like the Eight of Fire for the beginning first week. So the beginning of the first, second week, you're still dealing with a lot of stuff coming into you. And it's almost in the form of too much, okay? Uh, people have relied on you because you're dependable and you're a perfectionist at what you do. And they trust your guidance and your authority and your direction. But it, it's getting to be a little bit too much for some of you. And the workload is starting to bog you down. So please know it can lead to stress-related health issues if you don't allocate some of this responsibility to others. And know that it's okay to say no. Uh, you know, you don't have to always do it. There, you know, you have a life too. So remember, you'll come to resent it and you'll get uh, bogged down with it and you'll get stressed out about it. So please know that this work that's coming into you, these responsibilities that are coming into you, these activities that are coming into you all at once is a little bit too much for you right now. So please step back a bit and, and either adjust your schedule and your calendar uh, so that you can work your time better or give these jobs to other people that are standing around you that have all the time in the world that could take it. In the middle of the second week, Capricorn, you've been given a water card, and this is the Queen of Water, just like the, the middle of the first week of June, you've been given a water card. And this is all about, um, you may be meeting uh, someone who is a water sign, and um, that could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. And it may be a woman, and it may be a man. But I do see, for some of you, it may be a woman coming in. Uh, it is going to be a relationship that's going to go to a new level. But, you know, it could be it could be a, a man again. It could be the prince or the king uh, coming into some of you. Trust your own intuition. This is all about you, uh, how you care for yourself and how you feel about yourself and the love that you carry within yourself, the respect that you carry within yourself, the worthiness, your self-esteem, all of that is reflecting on this relationship because what you feel for yourself you uh, transcend to the other individual. And it's all about how you care for you and yourself and them that is allowing this relationship to develop to this new level. So trust your own intuition, okay, with this. Capricorn, at the end of the second week, your oracle card is this, stay focused. So whatever it is you're dealing with right now, whatever it, situation in your life right now, focus on it, okay? Don't allow all this other... Uh, hassle that's coming in, like the Ten of Fire said, you know what, too much going on, you need to focus on one thing, and uh, don't allow other people to distract you, or other uh, situations to come in that aren't as important, okay, so stay focused, follow your path, keep your head down. At the beginning of the third week, you've been given another fire card, and this is the Night of Fire for the beginning of the third week of June. Capricorn. I do see that there, again, there's a sudden event that's going to need your immediate attention. Something's coming in very quickly. You've been waiting for it. Um, I do see that uh, this, in, it may involve <clears throat> this fire sign who could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. This person coming in, uh, you know, uh, that's going to bring either information to you or the uh, an event that they want you to get involved in. So it is a sudden event, and time is of the essence. So if you're being offered something on the table uh, of, of great importance to you, because they show me it may have to do with an organization, a project, or a job promotion, or a new job, 
please think things through carefully. Also, it may have to do with something coming in legal, a document. So be careful you read everything over, cross your T's and dot your I's, my friend, okay? Uh, this event's going to come in all at once, and it's going to be delivered uh, by either, um, you know, um, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarian, this person around you. <clears throat> you, in the middle of the week, have been given again, Capricorn, another beautiful water card, and this is the King of Water. And um, this King of Water, uh, he, he's going to help you open your heart and your mind to those around you. I do see someone in the background that's going to be giving you some advice because they've been watching what's going on with you with a relationship around you. And please know, it may be this King of Water who may be, um, you know, a, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces they're showing me because those are the water signs. So this individual coming into you, uh, will be giving you advice and helping you with a situation in your life. Uh, you're going to be able to open your heart and your mind to those around you because of this person. They're going to show you that you can do this. Uh, please know that the advice they're going to give you is trustworthy and heartfelt. Okay, this water sign coming into you, this king of water uh, that's going to be giving you some advice, know that you can take it and trust it. I do see some of you are thinking about wanting to give to those that are less privileged than you. I do see some of you are actually going to be getting involved in a charitable organization or a function that you want to get involved in and help others. Uh, perhaps it has to do with mentoring young people, but I do see you giving yourself to others and helping them out. You know, it might be something as simple as just spending time with someone and giving them, uh, you know, your wisdom and mentoring them and your advice to help them on their path. I do see that some of you may be um, actually working for some charitable organization and function, uh, wanting to partake and help uh, perhaps with some sort of a charitable function that's going on around you. At the end of the third week, the oracle card that you've been given is take charge of the situation. So there you go. You have the ability, you're going to stay focused, you have, you know, you have the ability to be creative, and so take charge of the situation. Any situation that's coming into you, if it has to do with this charitable organization, you're going to be asked uh, to get involved in. If it has to do with, um, you know, this sudden event that's coming into you, take charge of the situation. In other words, that what that means is you're able now to tap into your strengths and step up and take the leadership role, okay? So take responsibility and take charge of this situation coming into you for that third week, Capricorn, the end of that third week of June. Starting the beginning of the final week is the three of air. And air cards have to do with all that, those challenges and uh, drama and chaos that some people bring into our lives where we're forced to make fair and just decisions and choices determined around them. It can also have to do with de dealing with legal issues and lawyers and attorneys and courts and signing of documents and disbursements of properties. Uh, it can have to do with having to stand up on your platform and defend yourself with something. But I do see that you, some of you have been dealing with a very sad situation and it may have been for some of you, uh, the end of a relationship, the parting of ways, and there's great sadness. You need to take time to heal. And the resolution to this will be forgiveness, okay? You need to forgive yourself, and, to forg and, and by forgiving yourself, you forgive others as well. And it will be the resolution to your healing, uh, my friends. So whatever it's been in your life, and if some of you, I see it's been a relationship transition, uh, with others, I see it's been a friendship transition. With others, I see it's been the leaving of a job or a profession you were in. Uh, let it go. Okay, let it go. Forgive, let go, let God. In the middle of an every single week, Capricorn, the middle card is of each week of June has been a water card. And the relationship card, seven of water. So this is telling me there's a decision that you have to make. And it involves possibly three uh, other people. It could be as many as um, six other people. But I do see three strong individuals around you that you are involved in making a decision with. 
but know that you will have the final word. Okay, know that uh, they will uh, accept what uh, your decision is. You need to do your research though. You need to make sure before you make this decision, you know all the information you need to know about it. Um, I see some of you have been dragging your heels and you've not wanted and you've been procrastinating, not wanting to make this decision. Please know you have to stop that. You need to step up because this shows me that you're going to be okay. You're going to be able to make this decision and the rest of them are going to accept it without question. So know that it's going to work out okay. Now, at the final end of your month of June, Capricorn, you've been given this. This is your oracle message. Yes. So if there's been a question that you needed an answer to, know that it's yes. Know that the universe is, is, is now starting to part all the obstacles and all the barriers and all the blockages and all the doors that were closed in front of you. They're opening now, okay? Giving you way to walk smoothly on your path again. So know that it's a great time for you now. Things are going to turn around, excuse me, and they are going to get better. So for some of you that needed an answer to a question, the answer is yes. For others, know that things are starting to get better for you and things will become more positive for the end of the month of June. So just remember, use your creativity and take in your artistic expression again. Add it to your life to bring you the peace and the distraction and the happiness and the, that you want. Stay focused, okay? Um, you know, stay, keep your head down on your path and go in that positive direction. Take charge of the situation and responsibility for it, and it'll fall in place. And yes, things are getting better at the end of the month. Capricorn, I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful, optimistic, positive month of June to look forward to. I'll see you again in July and know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you, my friend.